Have you ever wanted to go to a concert with thousands of other people, be able to dance, jump around, interact with other people at the concert, and not even need to leave the comfort of your own home? Because I have got the game for you. Today, we are talking about a cozy game that I have been playing for a while, and that's Sky Children of the Light. And one of the reasons I bring it up today in particular is because they have a once in a lifetime event on right now. And I'm not even exaggerating when I say this was one of the most incredible experiences I have ever had, both in and out of gaming. <gasps> Stop! Oh my god, we can get up! <gasps> and I think the coolest part to me is everyone in the stadium, be they flying around or sitting down, are all real people enjoying the experience the exact same time <gasps> as you. Way strong! Oh my god! Look at us all go! Now, if you've been a part of this channel for a long time, you'll know this isn't the first time I've talked about Sky Children of the Light. It's a game I have been enjoying for a very long time, which is why I am so delighted to say that Sky Children of the Light are actually sponsoring today's video. For those who are unfamiliar, Sky is literally one of the most cozy MMO games that has ever been made. And it's completely free to play on the Nintendo Switch, mobile, and now also on the PlayStation. And as you can see, even in just 1080p, it looks so good on the PlayStation. And even better when you play it in 4K. It's also cross-progression, meaning that you can link all the accounts seamlessly and continue your journey on each of them. And if you've never played this game before, you're in for a treat. You basically fly around different areas looking for spirits hidden around the land. And the areas you fly and travel through are breathtaking. Gliding is definitely one of my favorite parts of the game. And it's not only fun, but the views are spectacular. I literally have to keep on reminding myself that this game is completely free. The areas you visit vary greatly. Like the earlier ones have no hazards whatsoever. You just run around finding spirits and solving the occasional puzzle. But as you progress, you'll find yourself facing different hazards. Be it rain that lowers your health, forcing you to take little breaks and recharge, or crabs that literally make it their life mission to get in your way. But don't worry, if you do end up in trouble, another player can come save you. The unique challenges of each area makes the game constantly feel fresh and new. With every area having two objectives, the first one being to just make it to the end of the area. This is pretty easy to do as every time you honk, you can see which direction to go in. And if you follow the star, you'll find your way home. The second objective is to find as many spirits as you can. Some are really easy to find as they're basically on the path to the exit, but others are either trapped behind walls that require you to find a certain amount of spirits before you could go through, and others will need you to find a friend to help you. But don't worry if you have no one in real life to play this game with, because this is the other huge reason I love this game. You will literally never be alone, whether you know anyone who plays this game or not. You will always have someone flying alongside of you. And this is why during the lockdown, I fell in love with this game so much. As the game encourages you to make friends with the people you don't know. And it's not only super easy, but also super wholesome. You just run up to them, light your candle next to them and wait to see if they do the same. And if they do it, you can give them their own nickname and you can run along helping each other out, holding hands and finding spirits. I sometimes get a ton of anxiety when I play with other people, mostly because I feel like I'm just letting them down. But with Sky Children of the Light, I get none of that. I don't get flustered. I don't get worried. I just have fun. And although you can leave typed messages for other players, you mainly communicate with emotes and honking. The other evening, I was playing the game before bed and I found a door that needed four players all together to open. Once I flew over, that made three of us all stood by the door and we could all see the fourth player running around doing their thing. So we did what anyone would do and we just started honking relentlessly. 
Eventually, the fourth person noticed us and came over to help us, even though by the looks of it, they had already been through that door and gotten the spirit. So they literally just came over to give us three a helping hand, which I thought was so wholesome. Another thing I love is if you're really new to the game, you can also request a guide. This is where a more experienced player will come and show you around and maybe even lead you to some spirits you didn't even know existed. But the other cool thing I love that if you do have people to play with, it is such a beautiful experience to share. The game is literally so accessible as well, as not only can everyone play it as it's completely free on so many platforms, it's also fairly simple to get to grips with especially in the early levels. You can just fly around, explore together. And in fact, I plan on playing this with my dad when I go home this week. But I'm going to give you one huge reason why you should go and download this game right now. And that's the event that's happening until January the 2nd. And that's the Aurora concert. Genuinely, I don't think they could have come up with a more perfect match between a game and a singer. But the cool thing is you don't just watch the concert, you are a part of it. <gasps> We're a butterfly. Oh my god, this is so pretty! Stop! And you're in control the entire time. I think we're in a war! We're in a war! Oh my god! For me personally, I absolutely love the fact that every song came with a story. These two songs in particular were some of my favourites. The other cool thing is you don't need to have played the game at all to enjoy the concert. Just download the game for free and make sure you hop on and play before January 2nd. Look at us thriving! It's so pretty! And as you can see, I thoroughly enjoyed every single moment of this concert. Look at all the spirits! It's honestly perfect. And I also loved how Aurora would speak to you in between every single song. The great thing is, if you enjoyed it the first time, you can do it as many times as you want. I've done it three times already, and I love it each and every time. And the cool thing is, there's so much more to the concert than the actual concert. So here are some tips and tricks if you're about to do it for the first time or the third time. Firstly, don't worry, it doesn't matter where you sit whatsoever. It's all the same experience. But if you do want to find your allotted seat, just honk and you'll find a little line that shows it and you can go sit down. Also, I know it's hard to see as it's always so busy during concert times, but there's actually a circle of spirits around the Spirit Aurora. They give fantastic emotes to use during the concert and some of them are most definitely worth leveling up. The arena itself has a ton to do before or after the concert. There's a quiet meditation room that you can go to if the noise gets too much where the Aurora just speaks to you and tells you to breathe. You can also go and have tea or sit on a swing. And you can also find spirits around the arena to purchase exclusive outfits for real money too. 
There's also things to do outside of the level. So you're also going to want to watch out for these things in the normal levels. Some of them are super obvious as they're right next to the entrance, but others are harder to find. And much like the concert themselves, it puts the in-game story alongside Aurora's beautiful voice. And I was running far away, would I run off the world someday? Nobody knows, nobody knows. And I was dancing in the rain, I felt alive and I can't complain. But no, take me home. This is so take cool. Me home. Once you've done them, you can go to the Spirit Aurora and that will unlock even more emotes. So I definitely recommend checking out more than just the concert when you're in the game. But that's why I cannot put Sky Children of the Light down. I love it so incredibly much. So much so, I even put it in my top 10 list of cozy games, which you can watch here. I'll see you next time. Bye.